Hello and welcome to the first part of our Tottenham Save Season 1. In this video we will be going through the first half of the season, then I show you my tactics that made us go unbeaten for half a season. Can it continue into a second season? Well you'll have to catch part 2, but for now let's get on with part 1. So as you can see from the screen behind me is the fixtures and ah, oh, what a sight. It is so lovely to see greens and yellows, but let's just quickly run into the detail of this. Pre-season, didn't really play anyone hard. Benfica was probably our hardest game. We lost 3-0. We was at home as well. So I just went and checked that I can't show you any games up until Trabzonspor. As you can see, I can't click on Southampton one. Doesn't show me any details. Doesn't even show me lineups on the side here. But if I go to Transpanzor, let's me go into it. So we're going to quickly run through it and any games that I need to go into later on, I'll show you. Funny thing is, I saved this game as season one profile because then I'll continue my second season on another save and it really doesn't keep that much detail. So yeah, definitely one I need to look for. If I find out how you do it, I might make a little how-to video. So let's just quickly run through these results, I guess. Chelsea away, we beat them 3-0 first game of the season happy days so then we followed up that 3-0 win and went our first home game of the season and beat Wolves 4-0 then Brentford 1-0 drew against Arsenal at home 0-0 London Derby North London Derby then we beat Leicester away 2-1 did Harry Kane score oh yeah Harry Kane scored in the second game I was just gonna say he was at his first goal and then Liverpool we drew 2 all at home it's not bad not bad at all Shakhtar first Champions League game we beat Shakhtar 7-0 at home Man City we drew so for two favourites to win the league, Man City Liverpool, we drew. And we drew against Man City at the Etihad as well. Milan, we beat in Milan 2-0. Everton, we won 2-1. Villa, we won 2-1. Tran, Zanzibar 3-0. As you can see in the Champions League group stage, we went unbeaten as well. Came top of our group by a mile. Southampton beating them 5-1. But away tie against Tran, Zanzibar 2-0. Right, I'm glad that I don't say that team name again. West Ham, we beat 3-0. Good dog. Brighton 3-0, Leeds 3-1, we drew against Milan 1-0. Now did I play my B team? No, we still played our top team, maybe against Shakhtar next I played my B team because we was already through. Man United we drew at Old Trafford 0-0, some good good results here. Shakhtar we beat 1-0, uh, we played part B team by the looks of that, still played Kane, Kane got goal. And then we beat Palace at home 5-1, beat Villa 4-0, Harvey White, oh yeah Harvey White, I started play, putting him in, he picked up a couple goals for us. Brian Gill got a couple there. Is that our B team? Yep, B team. And for League Cup, Carabao Cup, Fulham, we drew 1-0. Galatasaray, oh yeah, this is it. So the World Cup came through and near the end of the World Cup, we started playing some friendlies. So Galatasaray 3 all, Slava Prague 2-1. And then we go back into competition. We beat Everton 4-2. Nottingham Forest 0-0. Bournemouth 3-1. Okay, let's go over to my tactics quickly. So this is my starting tactic. It's a 4-3-3 YDM. It's the most used formation ever in Football Manager since God knows when. It's just well balanced. You've got that wing play. You can either go inside forward or inside winger. Your one forward, you play pressing forward, target man or a DLF. And then your two in midfield, you can play box to box, Mazella, just a CM, or you could play him as an attacking midfield fielder or you could really just move those three up you could literally just go play two dms and a cam like i did in one of my formations i was experimenting got to that stage where i was just experimenting that we lost 4-0 to liverpool had nothing to lose and just tried something out and then my back four just two normal center defenders that was one thing that i found that i did have one ball playing defender and a one center defender but that ball playing defender oh my god he gave me too many heart attacks holding that ball and just doing stupid things with the ball that I just took him off and he was meant to be my better ball playing defender on for wings because obviously we got inverted wingers that cut in I thought fullback they could just come and support play when they need and I think it works really well with how we play so we go into a game every game positive in possession we like to pass into space and play out defense play fairly wide with a really high tempo in transition the last few football managers we do like for counter press and counter I've tried playing one or five or none I don't know I just feel like that 
that if you don't have them on your team doesn't play as good but let me know if you've had good experiences and then in transition we distribute to our center backs and we take short kicks for our goalkeeper out of possession we play a higher line we play a high press of engagement because we are we're playing that gen gen press with the counter press uh, trigger press much more often for higher tempo we really just want to play fast get the ball and score that's the aim of the game defensive line i know that i'm playing a higher defensive line but i like them to step up more again it helps with that press in motion and then my cautious approach this formation is really good just to see out games last 20 minutes you're winning 2-0 last 10 minutes if you're winning by one goal so formation wise not any changes apart from the fact that you got a dlf attacking his at outlet get that direct ball to him could probably do it as a tar target forward and then full backs we've got them from support to defense actually we don't want them to support anymore we want a nice back line back four with the dm in front support and actually it becomes a back five how do we play? We play it again, passing space. I love that passing space. It works really well with this football manager. Passing directness, more direct. And then we also play for set pieces. End of the day, if you're countering and nothing's on, you don't want to give away a ball. Actually, you want to look for that set piece because you've probably got a better chance than scoring. And then in this one, we kind of, when ball has been lost, we regroup. And then when we win for possession, we counter. So we lose ball, regroup up. And then if we win for ball, we fire at them. And then when we're out of possession, we're playing for low block and we're playing a low defensive line. <clears throat> Been talking too much, my throat's drying up. And as you can see, trigger press. We don't want press. We don't want to lose shape. And we press trap to the outside. So we force them making crosses in, but we know that we've got enough bodies in the middle to cope with any crosses coming that way. This is my favorite formation. That if you're losing, just flick to it, get a couple of goals, flick back to your positive, and then go cautious. You can't play this all game. The intensity, your players are going to just be knackered. Maybe in a friendly where you can play two teams each half. Let's have a quick look at it. Two DLFs, attack, attack, advance forward in the middle, advance playmaker behind fat free, and then behind him, supporting him, is a CM and a ball winning midfielder in defense. So in that manner, we've kind of got three defending players, two supporting and five attacking. I think five attacking is plenty, especially if you're going all out anyway. And then obviously for our whip, because that is all very central, we've got our wing backs. And to try and prevent teams kind of doing those overhead balls and that, we've put our centre defenders, one stopper, so he goes in, charges in, try and stop the attack coming in at us because we probably haven't got the defenders to cope with it. So he goes goes in tries to stop it or slow down play to get our players back but if they do that think over our defense and then we got a center back on cover trying to win those over balls or through balls how does it play fairly wide aren't too much wide because our only whip is our wing backs approach play again passing space i do like it it just it just makes your players look for that space play our defense slightly more direct because end of the day you don't control the ball because you just want to get a ball up there and higher tempo so play quick and get the ball up there play for set pieces run at defense be more expressive so fill out on that one counter press counter distribute quickly distribute to center backs take short kicks so again quick 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 and then in this one everything selected it was funny that i think i did this out of aggression but it's working for me it works really well i'll have to show you one of the games where goal or two behind and i've come back and won it or drawn the game by switching to this formation much higher high press of engagement trigger press much more often prevent short goalkeeper distribution get stuck in step up more or trap inside i say trap inside because obviously most of our players are inside and if we got our wing back shooting forward we don't want them to attack down our wings and then if they do go on our wings we want to try and stop that cross from happening so i think that's where thinking was happening and that's why i took them all it works quite well so that is my tactics thank you for watching new to my channel check this out